If you're watching this video, you're either an actor or you are thinking about maybe acting or maybe you've tried it once or twice and you're like, oh, I'm pretty bad at it. This is difficult, right? Is it difficult? This is my experience. Every actor will think that each type of acting is different. Just like some people are good at math or engineering or whatever, some people have to learn to be good at that. Same thing with acting. You have to take an acting class. You have to get training. Even if you are naturally good at it, if you want to uh, really hone in your acting more, then do more training. Today, I'm going to go through different types of acting that I have done, and I'm going to tell you my opinion in the difficulty that I believe that um, each category has because theater acting is very different from let's say background acting. As far as rehearsal, you basically don't get any rehearsal. You don't need any experience or anything. I have done background for, um, I did 13 Reasons Why when I was in the Bay Area a few different days and you don't have to memorize anything because if you are background, that means you don't get any lines. To me, background acting is the easiest. You don't have to memorize anything. You don't really have to rehearse. Day of, they might say, okay, rehearsal. Well, you're going to rehearse walking from point A to point B, making sure that you're not in the way of anybody, not looking into the camera, that type of thing. But the payment for that is usually minimum wage for wherever you're working. You are on set for long hours. A lot of the time you get a really early call time and then you're on set for a long time. Sometimes they have you there all day and they don't even use you um, because depending on the budget of the film or the TV show, they have money to just keep you on set just in case they need some background actors. It's not as creative to me as I have felt in other types of acting. But in student films, it is a very chill environment as far as I have experience in that they don't expect the world from you. You will of course have to memorize your lines at home and then you might have some rehearsal a day or two before or a day of right before you shoot. When I've done student films, it's been in a classroom environment. So they have like two or four hours to film the entire short film. So time wise for me, that has been a really great use of time. And I usually can use that footage for my reel. As far as payment, it really depends on the school or the type of student or whatever. Sometimes you will get paid nothing and be offered footage for your reel. Or I have also been been paid up to $150 for a few hours to be in a student film and I mostly do it because I love working with students and I usually get cast in a lot of student films because I have um, experience in acting and sometimes they get student actors so when they see somebody who has been acting for a longer time and is maybe more confident or faster at learning lines they're like okay I'm going to cast her but I've had really good luck in um, being part of student films and then working with them again and again even after they've graduated I've worked with some of the students of course not every time you work with a student will be amazing and beautiful and professional but I really do love student films because it's just a fun learning environment you don't feel as much pressure because they are students most of the commercials I've been in have been in the Bay Area and it's been just a few lines or none at all. You're just a featured extra where the camera is this close to you and you are doing some kind of action or you just have a few words. It has a lot of pressure because usually there's a lot of money behind it and um, there's the, the clients are there and then the whole production team is there. There's just a lot of people. But as far as the lines, pretty easy to memorize because in my experience, there haven't been that many. I have just haven't been in a commercial where there's so many lines that I'm overwhelmed by them. I feel like a little bit more pressure than student films, but uh, I, I don't think that commercial acting is hard, but you do need to have discipline and you really, really need to be able to take direction because if day of they decide they want to go completely new direction than what you audition for, then you need to be ready at that moment because usually commercial sets are a big deal, very expensive. So you want to show that production company and show that client that you are a good actor so that they can hire you again and again for different um, commercials. They really enjoy working with you. If you um, are quick, you can get them the shot that they need quickly. Um, if you are reliable, you memorize all your lines. Um, commercial acting can be very profitable. Commercials with a teleprompter. I recently did my first set of actual commercials through a teleprompter. It was a little bit more like an infomercial. What what do I call this? I'm on a YouTube channel's YouTube video about YouTube shorts in Spanish, and I had to use a teleprompter. That is pretty easy because you can read the script, but 
What is hard for me because I'm not used to it is, anymore is talking for like two hours. I had the script beforehand, so I did read it a bunch of times and because it was in Spanish and it was a lot of um, vocabulary that I don't use in Spanish, it was just difficult for me to memorize. I didn't have to be because I had a teleprompter, of course, because it was a long script but I wanted to be off book so that I could just use that as a crutch. And it was a green screen behind me, so like my hair had to be a certain way and I couldn't move my hands like above here. So there were a lot of moving parts that I had to keep in mind while also reading the teleprompter. So I would say there is a lot of pressure on you though because usually if there's a teleprompter, you're the only person talking. So it's like, if you are messing up, you are the person that's having everybody slow down which can actually be true for any kind of acting but theater acting that is how i got started a lot of rehearsal a lot of memorizing of course depending on the role that you have but uh for example in college i was in a play called nn12 and i was one of the main characters and i had pages and pages and pages of monologues theater is difficult in that it requires a lot of discipline and a lot of different parts of you memorizing your voice being loud your expressions on your face being big demanding as far as time for rehearsals and memorizing and everything and you only get one shot for all of the other acting that i have mentioned so far it's on camera so you can do it again you can do another take but in theater when you're performing like if you mess up really you got to keep going theater acting i think is the hardest and in my experience it has been the one that I that you can make the less money the different short play festivals where the plays are maybe 10 or 15 minutes and so your script the thing you have to memorize is shorter uh, you can go to that festival and meet all of the other people involved in it um, meet the writers directors the other actors so I love theater festivals for that because it gives me the flexibility of instead of giving myself to a show for two months, I'm giving myself to, you know, maybe three rehearsals and then three performances for that short film or that short play festival. And within film and theater and all of that, of course, some people find it easier to act in comedy or drama. In my experience so far, if it's something really dark and like sad that I really have to get into it, I don't enjoy it as much as I do um, a comedic piece, but I am trying my best to learn how to um, be able to perform those things and not take them with me, not take that sadness with me. Short film acting to me is definitely easier than theater acting just because you're, you're gonna have a lot less lines. But as far as rehearsal, when I've done short films, I've only had a few rehearsals and then you get on set and on set you might try different things and um, usually you're in a time crunch because it's usually low budgets. The ones I have been on, the short films I have been in have been low budgets. So you really want to do well. Um, I have loved the teams that I have been on on so many different short films. So I think that would be like definitely have some training or get a role that um, doesn't have that many lines or isn't that out of your range in order to act in um short films usually you'll pay you'll get paid nothing to maybe a couple of hundred dollars for um each day but i love doing short films because again it's a passion project everybody there is really excited to be there you meet a lot of different actors and different creatives so i love doing short films in general to me acting is acting each acting job each acting genre will demand different things of you so if you're interested in getting an acting if you're brand new i definitely suggest going into doing some training or some improv or something and then going and trying to get experience through a student film because I believe that is the lowest pressure scenario. And then if you wanna see what it is like to be on a big set, then you could um, apply to be a background actor right now because you don't need experience to be a background actor. You just have to meet the requirements that they, they need for that show. Yeah, so that's what I think about acting. Thank you so much for watching this video and at the end of every video I feature another channel. This is today's video feature. <laughs> if you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure that you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.